Hi and hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Indian Mom Cooking. So today's recipe is going to be chicken curry or chicken kolambu in Tamil. So I'm going to show you how to make chicken curry or kolambu. So let's get started with the marination. So this is about 750 grams of chicken and I'm going to add in about uh, one spoonful of turmeric powder and salt and I'm going to marinate for about half an hour and uh, I've taken about a cupful of small onions and also a cupful of big onions and slice them finely and this is about three medium sized tomatoes and one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste and then uh, about half a cup of coconut and uh, poppy seeds one spoon and one spoon cumin seeds and one spoon fennel seeds so what i'm going to do is this is the base of the curry so i'm going to uh, dry roast the poppy seeds cumin seeds and the fennel seeds on medium flame until they turn aromatic or uh, they turn their color into brown so it takes about three minutes and I'm going to add the roasted spices to the coconut and blend them into a fine paste with a little water. So this is how the paste looks and keep it aside. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm also going to take whole spices from bay leaves, cinnamon, green cardamom, star anise, cloves and mace. And for the powder masalas, I'm taking turmeric powder, plain chili powder and Kashmiri chili powder, cumin powder and as well as pepper powder so Kashmiri chili powder gives you a nice color for the curry and salt to taste and also I'm going to take oil I'm, I'm using groundnut oil here and few curry leaves few coriander leaves that are finely chopped and I've taken the stem part separately and I will be frying it with the onion I'll be showing in a minute so in a kadai I'm going to take in about three tablespoons of groundnut oil so i usually cook the chicken curry in a pressure cooker so for video purpose i'm showing it in a kadai so add all the whole spices and cook them on medium flame until they turn aromatic so it takes about two minutes so you don't need not want to burn the spices so add in the sliced up onions so small onions gives a nice flavor to the chicken curry and then followed by few curry leaves and stir them thoroughly and to this I'm going to add the coriander stems so the coriander stems gives you a nice flavor to the curry so I'm adding it along with the onions so I'm going to add a little salt stir them nicely and close it Close the lid and cook it for 5 minutes or until the onions are softened. So after 5 minutes the onions are softened and now I'm going to add the ginger garlic paste. This is about 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. So stir them nicely and leave it close the lid and cook it for 2 minutes on medium flame. So it's been two minutes, the ginger garlic paste and the onion are cooked. To this, I'm going to add in the powder masala, starting off with half a spoon of turmeric powder and two spoonful of Kashmiri chili powder and one spoon of plain chili powder. You can adjust the chili powder according to your taste. And then followed by one spoon of cumin powder and one spoon of pepper powder. So yes, mix them thoroughly. And I'm going to cook it for a minute on medium flame and then followed by tomato puree. This is about three medium sized tomatoes that I've blended into a fine paste. Stir them nicely and close the lid and cook it for five minutes on medium flame. So it's been five minutes. The tomatoes, the masalas are well cooked now. So I'm adding the marinated chicken to the masalas and I'm going to mix them thoroughly. So make sure the chicken pieces are well coated with the masalas. So add in required water. So if you want to make it a dry version, you can add little water. So I'm going to make a, it as a curry. So I'm adding more water. So I'm, now I 
I've just transferred to the uh, pressure cooker. Adding the adding required salt for the curry now. Stir it nicely. And I'm going to pressure cook it for three whistles on medium flame. So only three minutes, three whistles on medium flame. So leave until the pressure are fully released. And now I'm going to transfer this to the kadai for video purpose. So yes, now to this chicken curry, I'm going to add the blended coconut paste that we have done initially. So this gives the maximum flavor to the chicken curry. So yes, I'm going to add a little water on the blender and uh, pouring it and garnish it with coriander leaves. And I'm going to cook this curry for five more minutes on medium flame with the lid closed. So after five minutes, the chicken colombo or chicken curry is absolutely ready. So it smells divine. Do try it at home and comment me in the comment section. Until 